I'm Reagan Ledbetter, and we are doing some outdoor cooking today. I'm here with Bill Treadway. He is an extraordinaire of Dutch oven cooking. Oh boy, here we is go. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Can I say that? I guess. Well, I know he is really good at it because all of his Dutch ovens, he has won every single one of them. So that means you're pretty good. I. Okay, That's if you say so. If you say so. If you say so. <laughs> what are we making, Bill? Uh, we're making what we call Norm Bates butt today. <laughs> Norm. And why is that? Well, because the way that you prep this is indicative of a, uh, Norman a movie. Bates. Norman okay. Bates, absolutely. Right. Psycho this, style. Now you'll have people that'll see this and they'll say, but, 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 but Reagan, that's not a butt, that's a shoulder. So you can do this with a butt or a shoulder. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. What I'm doing is I'm poking this pork shoulder roast full of holes, just like Norm Bates would have done back in the day and putting holes in it where I can place the garlic slivers down inside the meat. It gets baked that way. It gets baked like any other roast in the oven might, except it's cooked in a Dutch oven. Seals in all the juices, makes it nice and tasty as far as the garlic is concerned. Um, what I'm doing is I'm taking a sliver of garlic and I'm poking it in, in each hole. And all you have to do is identify where the knife had been. And if you're really mean, they're, ev they're everywhere. So do you, how many garlic cloves do you want to use? Um, I used, in this particular case, five. All right. But you want to taste it, for crying out loud. You right, I do. Yeah, you don't want to just play with it. It's also a good thing to make sure that you also treat the outside of the meat with a rub. Okay, let's so rub we, it down. Are we ready to do that as well? And what we're doing here is we're putting, the, putting some salt on. You can use whatever rub it is that you feel is necessary. Okay. You could try all different kinds, you know? Absolutely. Each time you Dutch oven cook this guy, you could experiment. You get the fatty side last. There's a reason for getting the fatty side last. What's that? Well, that's the side that you're gonna put down. Down first, okay. When you put it in the oven. All right. Garlic's all stuck in it. We're gonna put the fatty side down, and we're just gonna set it right there in the oven. If you want 350 degrees, you use what we call the plus two minus two rule. You use plus two coals on the top, 10 on the bottom and you arrange the coals on the bottom in a circle and you never put anything in the middle. If you put a coal, even one, on the bottom, it'll, it'll interrupt the convective property of the heat itself and it'll burn every time. Okay. Let's see, there's four, uh, 12. Yeah, you need two more right there and we're gonna be good. All right, let's take a look at this baby. All right, Reagan, let's have a look at this thing. Okay. I'm telling you. Oh, oh boy. yes, sir. That oh, thing is boy. beautiful. Nice and juicy. I think mm, we're going to cut a piece of it right there. now. Look at all the little garlic pieces around there. And they there. almost like want to pop out of there. Here we go. There's a piece right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. A little, it's a little hot, but I'm brave too. Oh my gosh, Bill. This mm. is how easy Dutch oven is. That is the okay? way to do it. This is how easy Dutch oven you know what? is. This is so good. Again, we want to thank Camp Chef for sponsoring this segment because all their nifty, cool tools and stuff make it all taste better, doesn't it? Okay, from all of us at At Your Leisure, <laughs> Bill Treadway. Yes, this is phenomenal. Camera guy agrees. This is amazing. Thank Very you tasty. so much for being You're here. You're quite welcome. We're going to eat again because this is so, so good. More At Your Leisure when we come back.